Hi, it's Teresa from Lost in Paper and today I'm going to colour with you and it's Stacked Animals Day today. <laughs> I'm using some Gurner Steiner Designs stamps starting with the Party Animals set and because I'm going to be stacking these animals it's basically going to be a one layer design although I am working on a separate piece of cardstock here I will cut it down and adhere it straight to a car front so it's kind of almost a one layer card. Um, I do need to use some masking paper and I've just got my Inka Dinka Do stamp masking paper to make everything look like it's in order. So normally I'd probably stamp from the bottom up but that would be too difficult because I want everything to look like it's on top so I need to actually stamp from the top down. So I've kind of worked out what my design's going to be and I've stamped my present first, created a mask and then adhered that on, then stamped out my crocodile and I am using some tuxedo black. Mm, yes I am, I was kind of thinking was I, was I, oh, yeah I am. And um, then I can just mask the feet of the images because I don't need the whole image, I only need to mask the bit where the other stamp's going to touch to make it look like it's standing on top. So then I can just remove my masks and I am going to be colouring with Prismacolors today. Um, before I want to do that I just want to explain why I am working on a separate piece of cardstock here because often if I'm using Prismacolors I will work directly on the card front because they don't actually show through um, the cardstock. But the reason I did a separate piece of cardstock today was so I could center my images perfectly. I didn't have to worry about where I was stamping them exactly on the panel because I knew I could cut it down and make them look like they were straight and in the center. Because I was starting at the top of my stack, I didn't exactly know where it was going to end up and that just gave me lots of kind of wriggle room, wriggle room, wriggle room. Anyway, so I am adding my Prismacolor directly to my images in a couple of different layers before I add my Gamsol or my blending solution with my stump. I will list all the colors I use over at my blog and the link will be in description below. Also the supplies will be linked below and over at my blog as well. So I'll be back fairly soon. This does take me a little while today so that's why I did have to speed it up. I'll be back when all the colouring is done. Oh, but before I go I forgot to say the elephant image isn't from the party animal set it's actually from the go wild set. So I was originally going to use the rhinoceros but oh, I don't know the lion's feet didn't sit on his head right so that's why the elephant's there. All right now I will be back soon. Ish.
like I said, lots of colouring today. So now that I've worked out um, where the centre of my images are on the panel, I have cut it down to fit the same size as my card front and I can just attach that to the top using my ATG gun. So I did sort of play around with the sentiments for a little while. I hadn't really left enough room to use the one that I really wanted to use, which is the whole zoo, which is an awesome sentiment. Then I was thinking maybe I should have made a bigger card. But anyway, it's done now. So I did take this, um, it's called, the set's called Moody Unicorns and it's an awesome stamp set and I can't wait to play with these unicorns. I haven't had a chance yet, which is sacrilege, but there you go has some good sentiments which I have used though and this one says how old and I've heat embossed that with some white on some smooth black card sock because I thought that's going to really stand out and not take over this image. I've added some enamel dots and that's it for today's card. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to be back real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.